Alright, two big boxes of boxing gloves, one of my favorite things on the planet. Let's get to it, folks. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Tomorrow. And today, we're going to unbox some more Sanibel stuff. Literally two videos ago, I unboxed a ton of MMA sparring gloves by Sanibel. It was Amazon yearly Prime Day sale, and basically, I got the Battle Forge, Essential, Funk Strike, and Core series all for under 70 bucks. Well, I had to really laugh because about a week later, I get an email from Zach, who works for Sanibel. Zach basically sent me the email and said, Hey, we're a big fan of you in the channel, and we were wondering if you'd like to review some of our products. I told Zach, I said, well, Zach, if you follow the channel, you know about a week ago, I unboxed four of your MMA sparring gloves. And to be honest, there's not much by your brand that I don't have other than three boxing gloves. He told me to tell him which gloves they were. And basically the three sandable boxing gloves that I don't have were the Funk Strike, Core, and Battle Forge. I was really excited to try these because almost 90% of the people at my gym either have the Battle Forge, Essential, or the Core Series boxing gloves now. So I told Zach that the size that I would like would be 16 ounce but surprise me on the colors. Sanibel, thank you so much for thinking of me. Uh, you guys are a massive brand out there. I recommend all your stuff to the guys at my gym. I, I love brands like Sanibel that make really affordable, durable gear, especially for people just getting into the sport and unsure what they need. Sandable stuff keeps you safe, and overall, it's a great bargain for your money, okay? It's not cheap, it's just inexpensive. And no, they're not paying me to say any of this. Ask anyone at my gym, 90% of the beginners I have on my mats have Sandable gloves on their hands. Let's uh, go left, why not, okay? So this is a pretty light box, so I think there's only one pair, so we'll put this off to the side, because like I said, I barbarian these things open. 14 ounce gloves, battle to, ah, uh, I already, 14 ounce, I wanted 16. These are the Battle Forged, so I guess we will see how these go. So I got them in white, and honestly, compared to the MMA sparring gloves by Battle Forge, these are actually pretty soft. I don't know why they're 14s. I don't know if they're gonna fit my hand now. I wanna be a jerk and be like, oh my God, you sent me free gloves of the wrong size? You know, no way, I'm never gonna do that. Sandable Battle Forge series, but designed by professional kickboxers, only one thing in mind, performance. And it's kinda cool, because it is, it says traditional tie shape, and everything like that and as you can see you got all like the cool tie markings you even got like the the tie tigers on the side Just go ahead and open them up and see how they go because you know there are some brands out there honestly 14 ounces might fit my hand just fine yeah they're definitely 14s as you can see boom a little different than uh some of my other teammates battle fords they're definitely a lot softer uh so that's kind of cool and uh you can see that they have like a nice oh it's kind of like tie ones in general and that's the cool thing about sandable gloves too guys is that you can see that uh uh it looks like leather actually all their stuff is engineered leather i don't think they have anything that has like an animal leather on it which is pretty cool the inside it's kind of like uh your fairtex vgv ones and a bunch of other tie gloves the dehydration package just came out but you can see that you got like your leatherette right there and then you got the rest of the lining whoa Okay, never mind. It moved. Thank God. I was about to say that grip bar is horrible. It was like balled up right in the center, but it's actually meant to do that because I can feel like it's like a soft neoprene type sleeve that my fingers grip onto, which is pretty good. Definitely a little tight on the back of my hands. They're a little stiff, but every glove is going to be stiff at first, but I can definitely tell that they're going to open up pretty good. And overall, they feel pretty soft. Uh, I'm going to have to ask my teammate if I could try his on because he has 16s of these in brown. But I like the white color. They look pretty sharp. And you can see that we got that Sanibel logo going there on the back. And then you can see you got the Sanibel logo embossed if the light shows that anyway. Uh, but overall, it feels pretty good. It's also a web thumb attachment. Honestly, uh, really worried that these gloves were gonna be super stiff like the Battle Forge MMA sparring gloves. And I have a teammate that also has the Battle Forge shin guards and they're like rock high. I hate getting kicked by those things. Uh, softer than your standard tie glove too. I like that. They've, they definitely feel a little bit more like padded. I can definitely tell, but I can feel my knuckles a little bit. Uh, I think that might be because they're 14 ounces, but you know, overall, I'm not really gonna complain because they feel comfortable. Um, and overall, I'm excited to try these. So, Sanibel, thanks for the uh, for the Muay Thai gloves. I'm excited to move on to the next two. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. If both of these gloves are 14 ounces, I'm gonna kind of send back to Zach and be like, hey man, uh, they don't fit my hand the greatest. But you know what, if they're anything like the Battle Forge, they have decent size hand compartment. 
uh, that, yeah, okay, so it's for sure from Sanibel. I have no doubts anymore. It's just, I'm a suspicious person. It has the same exact uh, bag as the, I'm, I'm using the Sanibel Core MMA Sparring Goals, but see how it has the same exact bag, size 16 ounce. So these are 16, so that's good. Look how pretty that blue is. Look how good this bag looks. I actually like that. Sanibel really stepped up with their bags, you know, for sure. So I'm really excited. Honestly, funny enough, this is better than, than this from the Battle Forge. And the Battle Forge is more expensive than the Core. Now, I was so confused on, like, the Core series between the Essential because they're both made out of the, uh, engineered leather stuff and they feel the same. But from what the website basically says is that these are geared more towards an intermediate to professional level guy. And it even says that the professionals will notice the difference from the uh, entry level gloves. And so far, I kind of do. I have the essentials in my regular bag. Uh, they're definitely a little bit taller right off the bat. Uh, they don't feel much different in the exterior lining. And oh, okay, so that's a reasonably, not a very strong uh, elastic strap, which is kind of the same thing that you have with like your battle series or your uh, lab series. Uh, that's like my biggest gripe with the lab series review on these coming out very soon. Put it on the interior lining. Oh, I like that. I like how they do that. You have the uh, engineered leather down here and then you have the lining uh, for the rest of the glove. That's a pretty comfortable hand compartment. It's definitely more of a Western style boxing glove in that it doesn't open too well. Uh, it's stiff. I can tell that actually it probably will open pretty well. It's gel padding, so gel does tend to get softer and like mold around a bit. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. You got that nice mesh going across the palm so the glove will breathe out pretty good. And you also have like this nice big wrist bar going here so when it goes back it stabilizes it. But actually look how much that curves. That's kind of crazy. It's one solid mold and you can tell because there's no split of the thumb and you can tell down here too because it's just one solid stitch from the bar all the way up here. It's definitely a little flimsy towards the top. Uh, I mean, if I try and balance it on my hand, if I let go from this angle, you can literally see I'm right in the dead center. I'll do it this way now, okay? So I'm holding on to it so it's up in the air. I'm in the dead center of the glove and you see it's definitely a top heavy glove. So once again, Zach, thanks for sending me these gloves. I'm really excited about them, but so far I'm really intrigued to try the Battle Forge. I, I would really like so far had they come out. All right, so now we have the Funk Strikes, which uh, these are also 16 ounce. And the Funk Strikes, I got them in purple swirl here, okay. My wife actually tried these. She was a cardio kickboxing instructor and she really liked her Funk Strikes because she loves bright, colorful, uh, colorful uh, tie-dye things. But I got her a pair of Hayabusa's and she liked them a lot more, said that the wrist support was better, but I also got her a pair of T3's, so naturally that's gonna happen. Uh, she said that the wrist support on these wasn't great, but also from what I'm to understand, with these the funk strikes they're basically the essentials with a cloth outer lining and i tried her funk strikes and they were very comfortable i gave them that uh they come in this really nice bag uh hers came in, in a little bit of a different bag not only do you have the bag that covers it you have the plastic that covers it too but it's uh pretty top heavy the core series is definitely a little bit bigger i think than these they're definitely taller yeah they're way taller these are virtually to me the essentials by sanibel only in a cloth exterior lining it kind of smells like a like uh, it smells like if you go to like lowe's i don't know how it's to smell that you know like that just that hardware store scent that's what it smells like <laughs> that's a really weird thing to say and oh that's like weird oh that's stiff oh i don't know about that one um it's really stiff on the back they're also gel padded really stiff in the back unlike the other ones that weren't too stiff they were they were decently broken in the mma sparring gloves and it's pretty tight in my thumb and palm area here i can feel so many bumps on the inside of the lining it kind of feels like the bottom of like one of your little jammy slippers that you tried like those t-rex slippers the only thing about the cloth lining i don't think you can throw these into the wash like some other gloves out there claim you can you might be able to i have to go on the website and look the only thing that i'm going to say though is that they stink almost immediately after a practice or two and especially if you don't take care of your gloves these things will stink up an entire room man because it's all cloth it's usually the interior lining to gloves that smell this whole thing basically is a cloth liner 
All right, so all the gloves are unboxed, but before I go into my individual thoughts on each glove, I just wanted to say to Sandoval, thank you guys so much for thinking about me, a part-time YouTube guy, compared to some of the other guys that they sponsor. I mean, uh, it means so much to me that they reached out. So Zach, if you watch this, I really appreciate it. Guys, they, they sponsor and, and endorse guys that are at the top of our sport, like Michael Bisping, TJ Dillashaw, Max Holloway, Sean O'Malley, Gilbert Burns, and a ton of other people use Sandoval products. You know, world champions use Sandoval products. So the fact that they reached out to me means a lot, and I really, really appreciate it. However, as you know, and as I told Sandoval, I am brutally honest when it comes to gloves, because at the end of the day, for me, it comes down to three things, your health, your safety, and your money, and I will never mess with those things, because if anyone mess with those things with me, I'd be pretty upset. I'm gonna start out by saying my least favorite is the Funk Strikes. For one, I was really shocked that they were this stiff. Uh, I, I don't like that uh, they were that stiff right out of the box and that the interior lining felt that bumpy and baggy. It just wasn't a comfortable fit or feel and it was really tight in my thumbs as well. In the middle, I have the Core Series, uh, which remind me a lot about a glove by Ringside, which would be the Ringside Gel Shocks. Uh, they kind of have the IMF Tech uh, gel type of stuff going on in here. Only difference is really is that Sandoval makes all their products in an engineered style of leather or something that's not from an animal. Uh, whereas this glove is leather, has a suede thumb and has like a turtle uh, wrist back. So far, it's not too stiff, uh, even for being a new glove. I can definitely tell that they were made for virtually anyone to use. I think anyone would really enjoy using these gloves, but the breaking process is definitely gonna be a little bit. I can tell they are a little stiff and I can tell that they probably will break apart a little bit faster because I haven't used them yet. And this is just what happens with IMF Tech molds is you can already see a uh, bubble in the thumb there. But that is entirely normal when it comes to IMF Tech stuff because it's all one solid piece. Uh, and the moment one part of the piece breaks apart, the rest of it's going to break apart. The gloves that really surprised me were the Battle Forge because I've had two pairs of the uh, Battle Forge MMA sparring gloves. The original pair were too small and really stiff. The new pair are still a little stiff and, and just felt really tight on my wrist. Uh, but these, I was shocked when I took these out and they were super soft on my knuckles. And, and I really like how they feel. And the shape of them, I like the tie shape. I know that's what they were going for. They really look like the same shape as like a BGV-1. We have virtually the same exact thing going on here, only the BGV-1 is still a little uh, tiny tyke of a glove here. The comfort really surprised me. That nice plush dry fit material. It feels kind of like your engaged billboards uh, that you got going on there. So overall, very comfortable right off the bat. Uh, I don't care that they're 14 ounces right now. I don't know if I'll spar in them quite yet. I, I might just a couple rounds to see how they feel. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be using these for bags and pads in the next couple of days. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching The Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I've been your host, Al The Postmaster Tomorrow. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell because it is a tiny little click for you, but it means the world to me. Uh, as always, follow my social media pages. Don't feel, uh, don't feel um, scared to reach out and ask me some questions. Sometimes I'm slow at getting back, but I usually do get back or at least send a tiny little response. And I try to respond to all comments as I can. So with that said, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching the channel. 7.2 thousand subscribers already. Can't believe that. You guys are the best. And as always, I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day, everybody.